In the cold air of central New York, one professor is trying to study an exotic plant native to Sumatra. Um, I'm Carl Nicholas. I'm professor of plant biology in the School of Integrative Plant Biology, Cornell University. And soon... It's going to open up... This beautiful flower... Produce a blood-red, deep maroon inner surface... Will be the worst thing anyone's ever smelled. But in this case, smells like rotting fish. Meet Amorphophallus titanum, or its nickname, Wee Stinky. I would have called this Big Stinky, because this is the biggest inflorescence produced by any plant in the world. It's also one of the fastest. Since just the end of October, we Stinky has grown over four feet to get ready to bloom. And Cornell's really privileged to have so many of these rare plants, and privileged to have people like Paul Cooper who know how to grow them. So I'm the grower for, uh, I work for Cornell's, uh, Cornell University Ag Experiment Station. This, this is really one of the big, my favorite things about the job. I'm, I have a real fascination with this plant, like a lot of people do. Paul has been watching the plant closely over the last couple days in anticipation of the bloom. Getting red, really starting to color up. Yeah. Uh, that's another indication that's coming soon. And then you're starting to see some space yeah. between between these folds in this fade, and that's another good sign. And over the course of about six hours, it will fully open and then really start to get pretty potently smelling. But other than the stink, why is Wee Stinky's bloom so significant? And it's an exceptionally rare time in its life cycle. When you grow from seed, it, it takes almost 10 years to get a plant large enough to be blooming size. And because blooming is so rare, it's special that this is Wee Stinky's second bloom in three years. One specimen in England took 37 years to bloom again. To celebrate, Cornell's been selling Wee Stinky lattes. I, was, I thought we should do a, a Wee Stinky microbrew, but maybe they wanted to keep it all aged. In the meantime, Professor Nicholas is already planning the next step after we stinky bloomed. Well, this is the underground part of Amorphophallus titanum. Um, it's technically a corm, so we anticipate that this is going to flower possibly in the next few months, um, next year. Another wee stinky. And well, another wee stinky indeed. Yep. And so the stinky process begins all over again. In Ithaca, Brian Chung, NCC News.